how we are going to levy the tax and how we collect the tax from the recipient of the goods about that we are going to study in unit number 3 in unit number 4 we are going to study about the integrated goods and service tax act 2017 that is igst act 2017 in the main exam you will be attending totally for 80 marks so in part a 20 marks part b 30 part c 30 marks totally for 80 marks Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in the Department of Commerce and Management with the Ashton First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this very first session on the subject Indirect Taxes 1, which is there for 5th students who are studying BCom 5th semester under University of Mysore. Totally we have 6 units. So totally we have 6 units. So all the units deals with GST, with respect to GST. So here, in indirect taxes 1, you are going to study about all about GST, that is what is GST, how we are going to compute the problems or the GST or how we are going to compute the aggregate turnover or value of supply, what is time of supply, what is place of supply. So everything we are going to study in this particular subject. So the first unit deals with introduction to GST. So in unit number 1, we are going to know about what is GST, types of GSTs, rates under GST advantages, benefits, disadvantages. So about this we are going to learn in unit number 1. Unit 2, it deals with definitions. Yes, as we have definitions in different sectors, in different subjects, like uh, in company law we have different terminologies we use. In marketing we have different definitions or terminologies with respect to marketing subject. So in the same way for GST also, we have different type of terminologies or definitions for different different terminologies or different words for example as I see supply okay so for this kind of words we have different different you know definitions so in unit number two we are going to study about definitions with respect to GST unit number three it is levy and collection of tax yes how we are going to levy the tax and how we collect the tax from the recipient of the goods about that we are going to study in unit number 3. Unit number 4, the Integrated Goods and Service Tax Act 2017. So the Integrated Goods and Services Tax is nothing but IGST. So what is this IGST and what are the components of IGST? So how we determine the IGST and how this IGST works with respect to the supply. About this and all you are going to study in unit number 4. And unit number 5, it deals with place of supply of goods. Unit number 5 deals with place of supply of goods. Yes, because the place of supply of goods is very much important. By that only we are going to determine the value of supply or from where the supply is happened or to which place the supply is happened. So place of delivery or place of dispatchment of goods from the supplier to the recipient or where the recipient is receiving the goods. About this and all we are going to study in unit number 5 that is place of supply of goods. Next, unit 6. So, unit 6 deals with time of supply. Yes, at what time you supplied the goods. The time of supply, it's not about like whether you supplied the goods at 12 o'clock or 12.30 or 1 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the evening. No, it's not about that time. We are not talking about clock time. We are talking about on what date you supplied the goods. So, that is called time of supply in GST and we are going to study it in unit number 6. So, if you look into in depth about each and every unit, so we'll get to know what and all we are going to study with respect to that particular unit. So unit number one, introduction to GST. So in this particular unit, we are going to know about indirect tax structure in India. So how was the indirect tax structure in India earlier to GST and issues in indirect taxes? Yes. So what were the issues we faced with respect to indirect taxes? before introducing the GST and rational for transition to GST. Yes. So how we come to this GST era and how it started and what is the flow of GST from the previous indirect tax structure to the present indirect tax structure that is called GST. And next meaning of GST. Yes, we are going to study about the meaning of GST and definition of GST. So what is the definition of GST? what does exactly the GST means. So about that we are going to study 
types of GST. Yes, what are the different types of GST we have with respect to GST and features of GST. Yes, what are the features of GST? It is goods and services tax benefits. So what are the advantages benefits we are going to get from this goods and services tax and problems on computation of GST. Yes, after knowing all the meaning about what is GST and features, definitions and types of GST, at the end we are supposed to solve a few problems. It is called problems on computation of GST. In unit number two, in unit two, it is all about definitions. So what and all definitions we are going to study in this particular unit. So in this particular unit, we are going to know about actionable claim. Yes, we are going to know about what is actionable claim, what is address of delivery, what is aggregate turnover and what is agriculturist, what is associated enterprises and what is the meaning of business, what is the meaning of GST council and what is credit note and debit note with respect to GST and who is called deemed exports, what is drawback, what is electronic credit ledger and what is exempted supplies and what is input, input services, input service distributor. So what is input, input services and input service distributor and we have also learn about what is input tax and what is input tax credit definitions and intrastate supply of goods and job work. So what is job work and for whom we call job worker and what is reverse charge with respect to GST, what is invoice, what is composition levy, what is mixed supply, what is outward supply, what is the meaning of person and what is the meaning of turnover in state. So we are going to learn about all these particular definitions with respect to definitions that is unit number two. Moving further, unit number three, in unit number three we are going to study about levy and collection of tax. In unit number three we are going to study about levy and collection of tax. In this scope of supply, levy of GST, liability of tax payable person that is the responsibility of tax payable person, rate and value of tax. So what rate we are going to impose and what will be the value we are going to get with respect to payment of GST and meaning and conditions of supply, list of transactions without consideration, list of neither a supply of goods nor supply of services, meaning and treatment of mixed supply, meaning and treatment of composite supply and reverse charge mechanism composition levy. So mainly here we are going to know about how we are going to levy the tax and how we are going to collect the tax from the recipient and what is the meaning of mixed supply, what is the meaning of composition levy and what is the meaning of composite supply and how we treat those particular supplies that is mixed supply, composite supply and composition levy. So we are going to study about this particular concept in unit number 3. In unit number 4, we are going to study about the Integrated Goods and Service Tax Act 2017 that is IGST Act 2017. So here we are going to study about short title, extent and commencement, definitions, central tax, customs, frontier of India, export of goods and services, import of goods and services and location of recipient of services, location of supplier of services and appointment of officer, levy and collection, power to grant exemption from tax and interstate supply, intrastate supply, supplies in territorial waters. So IGST Act 2017 will give us so many information with respect to what is export, what is import, Okay, and what is the location of recipient, what is the location of the supplier. So each and everything will be defined with respect to GST under IGST Act 2017. So we are going to study about that in unit number 4. So unit number 5, it is place of supply of goods. So unit number 5, place of supply of goods. So here you are going to learn place of supply of goods other than supply of goods 
imported into that is imported to India or exported from India that is export from India to other country place of supply of goods imported into or exported from India place of supply of services where location of supplier and recipient is in India and place of supply of services where location of supplier or location of recipient is outside India special provisions for payment of tax by supplier of online information and database access or retrieval services. So you are going to study about place of supply of goods from where you are supplying the goods where the supply is located where the recipient is located. So about each and everything you are going to study in unit number five. Unit number six unit number six deals with introduction that is introduction to time of supply forward charge reverse charge residuary special charges. Yes you want to study about what is forward charge what is reverse charge what is residuary clause what is special charges and time of supply of services yes here forward charge reverse charge and residuary clause with respect to time of supply of goods next time of supply of services again forward charge reverse charge what is vouchers what is residuary what is special charges and we have to solve a few problems on determination of time of supply so in unit number six we are going to study about what is time of supply and how to determine the time of supply and what is forward charge reverse charge and residuary and special charges with respect to supply of goods and supply of services this is what we are going to study in unit number six question paper pattern so here in this particular subject you are going to attend the exam for 80 marks so for how many marks you are going to attend you are going to attend the exam for 80 marks so in this 80 marks you are going to write it in three different parts so part a part b and part c in part a you will be asking four questions each question carries five marks totally you will be attending for 20 marks in part b you will be attending three questions each question carries 10 marks totally you will be attending it for 30 marks and in part c you will be attending two questions each question carries 15 marks and totally you will be attending for 30 marks so in the main exam you will be attending totally for 80 marks so in part a 20 marks part b 30 part c 30 marks totally for 80 marks next moving further the importance you are supposed to give for each and every chapter so here in unit 1 they will be asking questions for 35 marks in unit 1 they will be asking questions for 35 marks in unit 2 they will be asking questions for 15 marks in unit 3 15 marks unit 4 10 marks unit 5 10 marks unit 6 25 marks so here you have to give more priority or high priority for unit 6 and unit 1 and you also have to concentrate on unit 2 and unit 3 and give uh, less importance to unit 4 and unit 5 because from those two chapters you'll be getting the questions only for 20 marks that is 10 marks plus 10 marks and books for reference so in this particular subject if you want to understand the topics you just have to refer these many books so that it will be very easy to understand the subject so the first one is taxman publication so taxman publication book is there for gst so that you can refer that book second one compendium on goods and services tax by dr manju s so you can refer that book also and next you can visit www.cbec.government.in so this is the government official website where you'll get all the information relating to gst and you can also visit www icsi.education.in www.icsi.edu.in so this is also a website where you'll get all the information relating to gst and also you can visit www.icai.organization.in so there also you'll get the information relating to gst and students guide to gst and customs law by vinod k singhania it is a book so you can refer that book also so that you'll get all the information relating to GST. So with this I'm going to wind up this session. So in the upcoming sessions we we'll start with 
and explaining about or we start with learning about the topics which is respect to GST that is goods and service tax. So until then, thank you all. Have a nice day.